Hawaii's rumbling Kilauea volcanoes produced more than 320 earthquakes in 24 hours, increased seismic activity from one of the most active volcanoes in Hawaii and on Earth, caused about 320 earthquakes in 24 hours, according to the American Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory. The reported earthquakes below Kilauea's highest point, which did not erupt until Friday, began on Wednesday when the volcanoes began showing signs of increasing unrest. Most of the earthquakes came from ongoing seismic waves in the southern region of Kilauea's peak caldera, at depths of up to two miles below the surface, according to the United States Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory. Officials said major hazards remain around Halamamau, including crater wall instability, ground cracks, and rock slides that could be exacerbated by earthquakes in areas closed to the public. Inflation, or swelling of the land surface, at Kilauea's peak has nearly returned to levels seen shortly before the last eruption on September 10, when the volcano erupted for the first time in nearly three months. The United States Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory said. A USGS live broadcast on Friday showed a small stream of smoke seeping from the crater of the Halamamau volcanoes. Although there were no reports of an eruption, officials warned of the potential for dangerous levels of volcanic gas in downwind areas and rock slides exacerbated by the earthquake. Sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide levels remain locally dangerous even when Kilauea is not erupting, according to the Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory. The frequency of earthquakes in the region had reduced as of Friday at 6 a.m. local time, but officials said seismicity levels were still considered elevated. Due to seismic activity and inflation at the summit, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is temporarily closing some trails, viewing areas, and parking lots, the National Park Service said Friday. Kilauea's September 10 eruption ended after six days and was the shortest of five eruptions that have occurred at Kilauea's peak since 2020. Before the September eruption, Hawaii's youngest volcano erupted in June, releasing a 200-foot lava fountain, said the United States Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory.